Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2019 Mazda CX-5, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro platform style bike rack. So the rack that we have here today can hold up to a total of two bikes. However, there's also a one bike version available as well. Now, one of the things that really separates this rack from some of the other platform style racks is how it's gonna secure the bike. We're gonna have two wheel hooks, one on each side. And I really like this setup because we're not gonna have to deal with any straps or anything like that. And really easy to use, it keeps our bike really secure. And because of these hooks, what we're able to do is actually offset our bike. So what I mean by that, a lot of times you get that second bike up on the rack and the handlebars will interfere with the seat and it can just be a headache every now and again. That's not the case with this one. What you can do is actually loosen up your wheel hooks and push your bike to one side. You'll lock it back in and that'll give us that little bit of extra space that we need. That way our two bikes don't interfere with each other. Now, like most platform style bike racks, we can actually fold this rack down with the bikes loaded to get access to the back of our SUV and What's cool about this one is how we lower it down. We're just gonna have a handle down here. Super easy, as opposed to some of the other ones which require you to kind of reach in, undo a pin and clip. Some have a foot lever here. that can be kind of cumbersome. With this one, just pulling that handle and lower it down out of the way. With it like this, we're gonna have more than enough room to get any of our gear in and out of the back of our CX-5. Whenever you have your stuff, we'll close up the hatch. And then we can just lock our rack back in place. There is one thing too that's pretty neat and it is the integrated locks that we have here on the end. So each wheel tray is going to have one of these and pretty cool it just gives you that peace of mind knowing that no one's going to take off with your bikes whenever you go to the gas station or maybe even swing in somewhere to get a bike to eat before or after the trails so now that we kind of seen the rack with our bike on it and how it works let's go ahead and get it removed we'll just come to our hooks here to release these you just squeeze this handle pull them out of the way Definitely want to have a grip on your bike, especially when you undo the second one because you won't be not holding it. Works the same way. And what's nice too, these things fold down pretty much completely flat, so we'll have a ton of space to pull our bike off. So I'll just set this to the side. And our hooks do just fold back up, so you definitely want to do that if you're not carrying any bikes. Gives us a really clean and compact look. Now in this position, it is going to extend the overall length of our CX-5. So to find out exactly how much, we'll measure from the bumper here to the very edge. Looks like it's gonna be right at 27 inches. So it doesn't take a, a ton of space, but something you just wanna keep in the back of your mind when you go to pull into your garage or a tight parking spot. Now this can actually be folded up into a stored position. Pull on that handle, flip it right up. And like this, it fits perfectly. Um, gonna free up a lot of space and look really cool too. But if we measured and see how much space it takes up, we'll go from the license plate right here to the edge. Looks like it's gonna be about 11 and a half inches. So definitely not gonna have any issues pulling into your garage or that tight parking spot. Another really nice feature is this integrated hitch pin. So it's one less thing we're gonna to have to worry about keeping track of, picking up separately, and so on. Everything that you need to use this rack is built into it. So really nice. You're not gonna to have to worry about anything crazy like that. It is going to work with two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our CX-5 but it can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube openings. So if you have another vehicle in the household, 
chances are really good this is going to work with it too. Here at the end we're going to have a knob and whenever you tighten this down it's going to eliminate all this play here in the connection point. And so that's going to keep the ride inside of your Mazda a little bit quieter and provide your bikes with a little bit more of a smooth ride as well. So to kind of give you an example on how that works, say if we're going down the road, we're hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is going to move with RCX5 and not on its own. The rack is also going to be made from aluminum, so we're not going to have to worry about any rust or corrosion issues, and it's going to be extremely manageable and easy to handle. A lot of times these platform style racks, they are kind of big and cumbersome, so trying to get them lined up in the hitch can be a little bit troubling. You have to put a little effort into it. This one is a lot easier than most of the other ones that I've had experience with. And to me, unless you were going to put another accessory in, I think I would leave it on the back of the CX-5. I think it looks pretty cool and is definitely a rack that I think I'd like to show off. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro platform style bike rack on our 2019 Mazda CX-5.